Good morning, friends. Today we will see the cluster mode overview or the Apache Spark architecture at a very high level. So before we look at to, uh, into this diagram of uh, Apache Spark architecture, let's see that what we have learned already. So this is a very high level uh, distributed uh, network overview where we have got a client talking to the, our master node and master node delegating that task to the worker nodes, several worker nodes. And whenever uh, we want to add any new uh, worker to like uh, execute it faster or run in more in parallel, we can just add one more worker node here. So this is how the distributed system work. Then we learned about Apache Hadoop systems and uh, MapReduce, which was used before. So here is a very much similar architecture as uh, we, did, we learned for master and slave nodes. Here in the master nodes, we have got Hadoop framework with a job tracker and the HDFS, which has got the named node or the file system, which is which stores data. And the Hadoop client, which sends the queries to this master node and master node delegates those tasks using the job tracker to the slave nodes task tracker and this task tracker create child tasks and work on the data nodes and sends the results back. So this was the earlier uh, Apache Hadoop with MapReduce. Now let's go back to our uh, Apache Spark architecture. This is the very high level architecture of Apache Spark. So Spark applications run as independent sets of processes on a cluster. So this is our cluster, which has got several worker nodes. Uh, and, these, and all the processes on a cluster are coordinated by a Spark context object here, which is, in, which is our main program, also called the driver program. So in a driver program, we have this called Spark context and this Spark context takes care of coordinating with all the worker nodes, executors, uh, and executes the task. Specifically to run on a cluster, the Spark context can connect to several type of cluster managers here. So um, there are several type of cluster managers available. For example, standalone uh, Spark has got its own uh, standalone cluster manager or uh, something called as Mesos or Hadoop Yarn or Kubernetes. I think Hadoop Yarn is like quite uh, famously used, uh, but in our course, I mean, the right now, because we are already in AWS. So AWS EMR has also got its own cluster manager, which is uh, most widely used in production code. So the job of the cluster manager is that to, uh, to allocate resources across applications. So the all is like worker nodes and executors. These are uh, allocated by cluster manager and uh, requested by the Spark context. So once connected, Spark acquires executors on nodes in the cluster. So these executors, which are processes that run computations and store data for our application. And next, it also sends our application code defined by JAR or Python files passed to Spark context to the executors. So even our application code that we write in the driver program, this is all shipped from Spark context to the executors on the running on the worker nodes. And finally, Spark context sends tasks to the executor to run. Now, this was a very high level uh, design or architecture of Apache Spark. Now, let's go uh, dig deeper into the internals of job execution in Spark. 